Hello and welcome to Hockey Study B and in this video I will be showing you how to identify the frequency of a wireless remote control and do a replay attack using HackRF1 on a porta pack. So let's start. The very first thing you're gonna do is go to Looking Glass. A Looking Glass is a waterfall representation of a wide range of frequency. Now, whenever a signal is being sent on that range, you will see a disturbance on the water flow. So let's try to do it. I'll just click this and try to focus on the waterfall. And as you can see, there is a disturbance there with the color red signal being sent. Okay, what we're gonna do is if you take a look at this, it should be here, which is marker, and you can just use the wheel to go to that frequency. And it's around 428, 433, okay? So it's on that range. Let's try 433 because that is the most common frequency. And let's go to calls. So what calls does is it can listen to a specific or much narrower range of frequency. Now let's go to maybe 432 and click done and maybe max is 434 and click done. Now let's try to click there. Yeah. Okay, just click, click this and it is not capturing anything. Maybe we need to readjust. So let's go to four, three, five. No, four, three, two, so four, three, five. And let's click it again. And as you can see, it is four, three, three point nine, eight, seven, five. And that is the one that we will be configuring on the capture part. Okay. So, as you can see, another waterfall representation of it. And let's go to 4, 3, 3. And maybe let's just put 5 because it is a range. And let's see. So there, there is some red and that means that we just need to adjust the rate to be something lower like 16k. And as you can see, there is the red signal that is being sent. And what we can do is click record, click signal, click it again, and click it again. Okay, and let's click save. As you can see, this is 22. And stop. Okay. Now, in order to replay it, let's go and put our trusty doorbell here. And open it up. Go to replay. Open file. And let's go to file 22 which is the last one. Then make sure that your cursor is on the play button and click play. And when we see the red signal, you can see this should be playing. Another one for good measure. Okay, so that is how you identify frequency and do a replay attack on hack rf1 in a part of pack of course and if you enjoyed this video please check out my other suggested video about hack rf1 here on hakista tv till next time my fellow hakista